Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D Printing, and today these are the hands and arm of the month. So let's get started. All right, so first I want to apologize for uh, this video that might be a little late. Um, I have been a little bit busy with everything and um, Thanksgiving and stuff, but I really want to get this video out for you guys so you get to see the, an the hand and arm I made for this month. And um, these will both be going to Spain, um, and I believe next month, which will be December, um, I will not be sending out any out. It'll just be um, the holiday weekend and everything, so uh, no arms or hands will be going out in December. Um, but this month, November, and then I'll start again on uh, January, or in January. Um, but these hands were both made out of um, Ziltex PLA that they sent me. Um, I believe the entire arms are, except for this one part, is made out of um, some cheap PLA that I bought myself. Um, but everything else is made out of Ziltex Awesome Colorful PLA. And um, I've actually gotten some more skills and more paddings and stuff um, I've learned about putting on these. And I've actually designed my own little tensioner box. Now they aren't on these ones, um, but they will be on the ones in the future. Um, but... These, I think, turned out really awesome, and um, I'm really excited to show you guys uh, what they are and stuff. And I, again, I actually did the new um, technique of using some Plasti Dip for the fingertips and um, just put an extra things of padding all over. And I think these colors really go good together, and I think they turned out awesome. So let's get into the details of these arms and hand. Okay, so starting off with the hand, now I believe this is... Um, at 125% scale, I believe that is the scale I'm doing for this month. Um, from 100, I just scale up 125, um, all the pieces. And uh, I believe this is actually a really nice hand. Now, this hand I use the normal fishing line. And now, uh, with the arm and the rest of the arms that I and hands I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using the shark fishing line, which is more of a cord because um, it does not stretch or... Uh, is not elastic -y, so with this normal stuff it stretches a little bit so it's not as um, grippy and tight when you when you bend the hand or the arm um, so that is one thing that this is that um, the arm isn't uh, so that's that's one of the differences but again these are all made out of Ziltex PLA um, this is the light blue this is the I believe translucent red it's more of a pinkish color and clear um, and then this is their purple, this is their dark blue, and um, those are the colors. And this actually, this uh, is this gullet tensioner um, is pink. It is from uh, Isle Robotics. So I believe that's the only part, and then on the arm, the orange part, that aren't Ziltex PLA. Um, and again, their filament is great, amazing. And for this hand, I actually used um, the solid PLA plastic and just melted it and pushed it up. But for now on in the future, I'm going to be using the TPU filament so that it just stretches when they put their nub in there instead of actually having to heat this up, slide their nub in there and perfectly fit it. Um, that just takes more time and using TPU actually helps a lot better. Um, and it's nice and soft on the skin. And as you can see here, I actually use screws this time. Now these screws fit in um, this size hand. Usually with the smaller ones, I can't find the size screw. Um, and again, I just have all this nice padding in here, making sure um, I use double-sided tape and making sure that it is stuck down and um, most of the plastic that your uh, skin will touch is covered. You want to make sure that, that is there so that there's no um, pain on the motion or anything like that. But uh, that is this uh, hand of the month. So the arm of the month, again, will uh, or is all printed in Zealtex uh, PLA except for this orange part. Um, and maybe the silver part too. But other than that, I think that this arm is one of the coolest arm of arms I've made. I just love the colors and um, how it turned out with all the vibrant colors. Again, I used the Plasti Dip on here. Um, now, I didn't do the technique I did on some of my other hands where I actually put super glue on the tips first before I dip them, and I dip them in sand so it's more grippy and gritty, and then I'll uh, Plasti Dip that so that it'll have like a gritty texture on it. That actually is on, I believe, this hand. You might be able to see here, it's more grippy and gritty instead of just a smooth, rubbery surface. Um, but I didn't do that on here. And as you guys might tell, there's no 
uh, Velcro on here. I have not done that stage yet, but other than that, everything else is finished. Um, all the padding is on, strung it up and everything. Um, now, I do have some foam here. Now, it's not really sticking, so I might have to glue that, but um, other than that, everything again is using double-sided tape. And the arm, I think everything bends nice. And again, this and this cord, again, is um, the normal actual shark cord, shark fishing line. So it's actually cord instead of normal fishing line. Um, now, I believe the only mess up I actually had on this hand, which is not a big deal at all, is uh, this palm thing. As you might be able to see, it is not the actual right size. I think this is one small one size smaller and this might this arm actually might be 135 percent skill not sure um, but they all work and um, the place that I send it to in Spain they accept all sizes um, so hopefully they will be able to use this and again I will definitely try get some pictures and maybe even some videos of people using my arms and hands and I will definitely put those in a cool video um, something like that just to show you guys that these are actually being used instead of just um, just sending them off to places and never hearing back again and I have actually gotten some pictures um, if you guys follow me on my social medias on Twitter and Instagram I do post a lot of pictures of um, the arms that went to Spain and the arms that went to different heroes I just sent off a lot of hands and uh, the last two arms as I told you guys in the last um, uh, arms and hands of the month video that they went to North Carolina where different heroes are. I haven't got pictures yet from that um, but hopefully I will and again those will all be on my social medias uh, but this month I think these arms are really cool so I didn't actually print four this time of this month I just did two uh, which was my normal goal hopefully when I uh, get less busy and stuff um, that I will be able to print more and more times and if you guys haven't seen my latest post on uh, Twitter I have so much filament I just received actually today seven rolls of filament from um, PLAS 3d which I think is PLAS 3d or just PLAS 3d um, they've actually sent me some filament to review and um, also to use for these hands so you guys will get some new filament reviews I think there's gonna be three reviews of the filaments because they sent me TPU PETG and their PC and also their PLA so maybe four um, just depending on the time I have but I definitely wanted to get this video out to you guys just to let you know um, where these hands are going and who actually provided this filament but a lot of this filament has been donated to me from awesome companies which I think every one of you guys um, IC3D, uh, Zealtech, Polymaker, Polymaker actually just sent me eight rolls of filament um, I believe it was five rolls of PLA, which are some awesome color PLA, which I'm super excited to print with because I love Polymaker PLA. Um, and then three rolls of clear PETG. So maybe I'll uh, print out a really cool clear filament um, arm and see how that goes. But uh, again, to thank you to everybody, um, Filamentum, uh, Iowa Robotics, just everybody who has provided me with awesome filament. Um, I think I have... Uh, maybe triple, quadruple uh, rolls of filament of printers I have. I have so much filament. Um, and uh, again, to thank you to everyone who has provided me with my uh, printers. Also, I do really appreciate it that you guys are helping me out um, being a young teenager, but also getting a lot of support from everybody in the 3D printing uh, community. So again, thank you to everybody. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of my cool arms and hands that I've printed. I love making these, printing them. I do really enjoy setting up all the STLs and everything um, and printing them out and taking them off the bill plate, cleaning the bill plate. Just the whole entire process is just so much fun because I just love 3D printing so much. As of now, the slicer I am using is Kira. Now that is not the greatest slicer. I hopefully will get Simplify 3D for Christmas or um, maybe get a trial version from them or something. Uh, I really would like to use Simplify 3D because I know you get definitely uh, get better prints out of that than you do in Kira. Um, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I went on a more uh, a lot about everyone who's sponsoring me and um, providing filament and stuff with me to me. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome um, little video that I put together. And again, I really enjoy making these hands. Let me know if you have any suggestions, even some different video suggestions. I will definitely. Um, making at least once one video a month, but hopefully I will be making more because I have more reviews to make 
but there will definitely be a video each month for these hands and arms that I'm making um, and hopefully I'll be getting more places to send them to and printing out more each month to send them to more places. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye.